Hi there, welcome to another art vlog. It's New Year's Day, I hope you're doing well, I hope you've made some resolutions. By the time you're seeing this though, it will be like March. There's two new things that I'm going to be trying in 2024. The first is bullet journaling. You might have seen on my channel that I've started filling quite a few of the spreads already. Currently don't do any kind of form of planning so I'm going to give this a try and hopefully it will go well. The second thing I'm going to be trying is this. I'm going to be making a daily doodle diary and trying to draw every single day of the year. I first found out about the Daily Doodle Diary from Miriam Tilson last year and I just missed the start. I saw it in like February or March. There's a calendar in the front and I saw that Miriam highlighted the days they did and I really love that. It's going to be a great way to see like what's been done as well. I think it's going to be pretty cool. First, we need to fill the cover, create a cover page. I also need to fill in the bullet journal because it currently has like nothing in there has been set up but it's got no content so we need to do that. Okay the first thing we need to do is remove this sticker and then honestly I don't know I think there's some stickers I would like to put on the front so I should probably put them on first otherwise we're gonna run out of space. My favourite stickers I own are these holographic ones which would be so pretty. I really love these doors but they're quite big and I haven't really found a space for them yet. I think this one might be a little bit too big which is a bit sad but I don't know how I can fit daily doodle diary with it there unless we go daily doodle diary. This one I do really love you know and it would fit next to the stickers. I love the shapes in these ones. Ran into you at the drugstore you were picking up your prescription. I just don't want it going over the edge. My sister got me this pen set for Christmas and they are just separate gel pens but they felt really nice. So I'm gonna give them a try today. When it comes to personal goals, I wanna set myself small achievable tasks. I'm not aiming for anything too big, just small things that I can incorporate into my daily routine or my weekly routine. Things that can become habits. A slightly different personal goal that I'm setting is to be more experimental with fashion and try and keep up with trends. But I have noticed that since I'm not at college or uni anymore, I don't pay attention to fashion. I have a comfort zone of t-shirts and jumpers with skinny jeans and converse and I've been wearing them for like 10 years. I want to actually try and be a little bit more experimental, try and wear dresses, try and layer clothes, actually putting some effort in. I I also would like to wear jewellery more often, I don't do that very much. Something I've really been working on recently is to try and form habits that will maintain a healthy body and a healthy mind. I'm taking more of an interest in vitamins and healthy foods that I can incorporate into my diet. I've always struggled with fatigue and I think it definitely gets worse in the winter months. So I'm trying to do what I can to help combat that. It's hard to not be affected by the weather when you wake up, look out your window and it's raining for like five months straight. It's 10 in the morning and it's so dark that I've got my lights on and if I switch off the lights, literally. This is how dark it is, so I'm gonna have to film with lights on today. Today we have this one, it's from 101 Dimensions and I think it kind of looks like Cruella but that one was so good that I really hope I can do this one well. You can see there's a little bit of shadow so I'm hoping it will still be okay. Here's how it's going so far. I haven't added the extra half of the hair in, so it doesn't look so much like her really. I need to add the red lips and the red here, but I think I'm gonna do that last because the red that I'm using is the cadmium red, it's very opaque, so I think I'm gonna do that last. I'm not too sure how I'm gonna do the hand and make it look separate from 
the clothes and there's a load of like white stuff here that I'm not really sure how I'm gonna make work I've kind of lost a lot of it and it just doesn't really make sense when I was adding it like you can't really see what it is the face is a bit more smushed but that's kind of what I like to do you can see the face here is kind of cute and smushed as well I mean this one's a lot longer the eyes are okay, but I've not got too much likeness right now. She looks a bit scary and I don't really know what's going on here. I've never really done an open mouth like this before. I've attempted it, I've never done it well. I mean, she's meant to look scary, but it doesn't look good scary. Also, another thing that I was thinking, my daily doodle diary. I was thinking about using watercolor just because I've got them out. I kind of want to make it easy just like yeah i'm gonna do something whilst i've got it out but also like the paper i think would not handle it well on the sliders it's literally like diary paper but i've currently got my watercolors out so it seems a bit of a waste but it could go horrifically wrong it probably will go horrifically wrong let's be real Okay, so you know how I said it would be like two weeks that I would wait before checking the flowers? Honestly, I think it's been about three or four, so I have no clue how these are going to look. I just really hope that they're not mouldy. I have no clue. It's actually still quite bumpy, so I guess we'll see. This is the rose that I thought had a little bit of mould on it. It's pretty dry, and I feel like if it was going to have gone mouldy, it would have done it now, so that might be okay. Next, we've got... Oh, okay. These ones are actually really cute. These look okay. I think I'm happy with them. I think they might actually be completely done because, I mean, they were quite flat to begin with. I think those are good. Okay, let's move on. I think this is the last lot that I did. I don't think there's any more in there. Now, this one was pretty risky because this one is, like, so thick. I think that one might need to be done a bit more. Honestly, it's kind of reminded me of a spider. Do you not think that looks like an insect, the way that's gone? We've got this one that went in for a second time. I think that's looking pretty good now. These were quite thick, so I'm not sure if these are flat enough, to be honest. I think I might leave these in a little bit longer. This is the yellow one that went back in. I'm really happy with that one. I think that one's done. Oh, that is perfect. Look how flat that is. I think these are really good. I think the white ones are done, but I think maybe the purple ones will go back in again.
today it's quite nice weather still so I'm going to quickly do a little sketchbook session. I recorded the intro a long while ago and I've actually almost finished this entire sketchbook so I'm going to have to just pop it like here on one page I think. This is my messy sketchbook. I started it at the end of June, so I think this is a pretty good time to finish it. My hair is short. Ignore the colour. I'm going to be dyeing it pink in the future, but I'm just going to give it a few days first. Me and my partner spontaneously cut off like eight inches. It used to be like down here, but it was getting really knotty at the back. And because my hair is naturally kind of curly, I was trying to protect the curls and then they just had to be brushed out every single day. So we've cut quite a lot off. So let's get on with the spread whilst the lighting is still good. It's okay, I finished the sketchbook spread and how cute is this looking? I only used four colours and I was going to use more but I thought the limited colour palette just really worked here. I'm really happy with how that turned out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do today's daily doodle diary and I'm just going to use the same stuff that I've got out, just the four colours. At the moment I'm really enjoying using whatever medium I have to hand and if right now it's those four colour pencils I'm going to use those four colour pencils. Yesterday I filmed a Valentine sketchbook session and I decided to do this one as like an alternate version because again I had the colour pencils out and I just thought that was really fun. So let's do the fifth. Okay, so this is what I picked up yesterday in the charity shop. Honestly, it was only five pounds. It's a Christian Dior shirt and it literally says it on the pocket. It looks so pretty. Let's try it on. I haven't actually tried it yet. When I said I was going to take more of an interest in fashion, I didn't necessarily mean to buy new clothes, but I've seen these a lot on Pinterest and I just really love the look. I don't know if I would wear it with a turtleneck. It's like a large, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to style it, but I mean, it feels comfy. I would much prefer to get it bigger. What do we think? Is this a good find or not? I mean, I'm gonna have to figure out how to actually style it, but I think it's really cute. One thing that I did see on Pinterest was people using it with a jumper. So I'm gonna give that a go. Not sure about the jumper. I think it might be a little bit too thick. I think the other look is definitely better. This is kind of it done up. I really love that. I just think it's so pretty. This is it tucked in. What do we think? Is it cute? Is it a good purchase or not? I have these two sketchbooks, which are virtually finished. They've been almost finished for months now. So let's go through and complete them. Let's go through this one first because this one I actually started for Inktober last year. No, the year before. This sketchbook I started for Inktober, so unfortunately I don't have a spot here to put the start and end date. I'm going to have to put that at the end. And it's mostly Inktober, probably only half really. And then I didn't really know what to do with it. So I've just got some swatches and some experimentation. I did want to tidy up this piece. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Maybe reactivate the gouache a little bit. I think it's pretty much done. This page is a mess. I was going to add some colour pencils, so we should do that as well. Aside from those two, I think that's pretty much the entire thing done. There's definitely stuff that I could have done on these pages, but I feel like I'm kind of ready for the sketchbook to be done. So for the gouache kind of messy page. How are we gonna fix this? We'll come back to that one. The horses. I don't really have a reference so I was just sort of gonna go for it. I just wanted to add some loose pencil lines around the edge. This was gonna be like a really messy page.
really all I wanted to do was try colour pencils over gouache because I hadn't actually tried that before, like I still haven't. <laughs> and I'd seen it around and I wanted to just give it a go myself. I think the colour pencil actually works really well over gouache, which was really all I wanted to figure out from this page. This one, I think I'm just going to grab a black pen and try and cover up this because the worst part is the orange. And then maybe do some lines or something, a pattern to try and cover it up. What do we think? Does that kind of conceal it? I was doing one of these pages and I was using watercolour and I had like transfer paper underneath and it literally just reactivated and smudged itself around. I think that kind of covers it enough. We're on this page. This is where we need to put the dates. Unfortunately, I don't think I actually have the dates, but I would have started in October like a few days before, so it would be September. So I might put September to January. Oh no! Ah. Um, I did it. I feel like all we see in these art vlogs is just things going wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna use the white and see if it covers it up. Not really. Let's try. Let's try this shade. Okay, the neo colors kind of cover up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to do like a neo color kind of background. I was thinking as I was writing it, I was thinking, oh, that's really short. I suppose if we go over it with a black neo color, actually, that'd be fine. Let's just go over the entire thing. Have you ever done this before? I think this is the second time that I've done this. I think I did it in my hundred head sketchbook as well. I also just realised on oh, my hand, um, I kind of did four letters and slept. I've done that so many times though, I've literally, every single time I also get scared that I'm going to do it and I still do it. To be honest, I kind of think that looks better, it might go on to the other side. We're going to pop sketchbook number 14 on here. It's just something that I like to do, I like to have a idea of what the order is because if I don't write the numbers on them, you have to go to the front of every single sketchbook. There's that one down. <laughs> now let's go through this one. This is my messy sketchbook and I'm including the name. I need to add the dates. There's kind of just a lot of stuff in this one. There's not really a lot of good stuff going on. They're just rough sketches really. I have a lot of things where I was just using up like leftover paint and this was leftover ink from Peachtober. I just wanted to kind of put it somewhere. Same with this, and with these. We've got a couple of little gaps, but I think I'm gonna leave those. And then we've got the final page. I don't wanna do anything that might disrupt this because I really love this spread. So I might just do something simple, maybe with neo colors, just a fun little pattern. I'm not using a reference for this, so I'm not sure exactly how it's going to go, but it's just a rough doodle, really.
how crazy does this look? It took less than 10 minutes, but you know what? It was really fun. Let's add the dates. It's quite a shiny surface, so I think I'm gonna have to use a biro. It looks like we've got 29th of June written here. And today is the 7th of January, so I might just pop it in the middle somewhere. Okay, we did it right this time. Pretty basic, but as long as it has the dates on there. This one took quite a bit longer than usual because I started it whilst I was on holiday. I took it on holiday with me and you can see, I don't know if you can see, but the paper is slightly orange because of all the pages that went slightly orange in the sun. But because I took a brand new sketchbook with me on holiday, I hadn't finished my last messy sketchbook. I probably will still have a messy sketchbook. I think I have two empty ones. But I just don't think they're gonna be filled very quickly at all, what with the Doodle Diary and the Bullet Journal. And speaking of the Doodle Diary, let's do today's. It's currently the 7th, so we only have this small area to work with. And that's how today's sketch went. I used colour pencil here and a little bit of biro for the background. I think it's really cute. I think the whole spread looks really good. And I haven't missed a day yet. Hopefully this second week will be just as strong. Since the doodle diary is all done, I'm thinking I'm going to dye my hair. It's time. We're going to go pink and get rid of all this green. And I might do the underneath a little bit darker. Maybe something like a darker pink, darker purple. Let's do it. This is the hair situation. Like the color that we used, I pretty much used all of it, but like I did the bottom first and it's kind of like a dark purple and then the top, oh, what color is that? I used the copper that I had left over and added more pink, but I mean, that looks very odd in the light. I have no clue what color we're gonna get. Let's find out. This is how the hair has turned out, honestly. It looks more ginger in this light. It looks different in every single room that I walk in. It looks a lot more pink in other rooms, but this is what it looks like. Today, me and my partner are having a day off. We are going to an outlet park. We're just gonna have a little bit of shopping, maybe just go for a walk, see what's there, and then grab some food. I'm gonna take some sketching supplies. Hopefully there might be somewhere inside that we can do a little bit of sketching. Let's pick an outfit. This is the weather. It's frost and it's one degree, so I need to be warm. I've washed this new shirt that I got and I really would like to wear it. So what am I going to pair it with? I mean, in order to be warm, maybe an actual jumper would work. I've gone for a basic black jumper with the shirt on top like this and then the sleeves kind of like this. I think it's kind of cute, kind of works. When it comes to sketching supplies, I am very simple. I like to keep everything in a Ziploc bag like this just so it's a little bit waterproof. And I've got... Me and my partner's little sketchbooks. The four jumbo pencils that I got from Rome, these are Creta color. I don't really have any kind of use for them because I've got my Caran Dash Luminance and my Faber Castell Polychromos. So I think these are perfect for traveling. Um, I've got a sharpener that actually fits them. <laughs> A rubber and I've popped my Tombow in here. I like to do this sometimes if I just want to do loose markings that aren't too detailed. You can just sort of pop colour down and that's what I really love about this. It's like a, it's cool grey and it's kind of, well it's this shade. I think it's a little bit lilac but it's a really lovely shade. And this sketchbook I literally just use for like drawings out and about. I have no intention of filling it up quickly. It's just one or two when I'm out and about and I really love it. It's a perfect size and it's got a hard bag, which I think is so good for when you're sketching it on the go. So this is what I normally bring with me and Ziploc bags are so good. If you don't use them, I fully recommend.
Good morning. Today I'm going to be painting another self portrait. Let me show you my setup. It's really basic. I've just got waters. I'm being brave and choosing one paintbrush, but I'm probably going to need more. I've got my watercolor palette. I actually need to add some more here, but I don't really want to like use up all the space because they're the mixing wells. And then we've got this is what I'm doing. It kind of looks like me, but obviously it's like my style. It's a bit more stylized, a little bit more kind of squished. The last time I did a self-portrait actually wasn't very long ago and it was in this sketchbook. It was this one. This is currently still my profile picture everywhere, but I kind of want to make a new one. Because most websites do a round crop, you actually lose a lot of the face. And this one, it's like a little bit smaller, but it's, it's not really what I was after. I just naturally always sketch a little bit bigger. The first layer is done and I love this paper so much, but look at it, look how much it warps. It generally settles a bit on the second layer, but it's crazy on the first. This is how it's turned out. What do you think? Does it look like me? I was using this photo that I took of me yesterday, but I don't know, I'm not sure. I think this one probably looks a lot more like me, but it doesn't really represent my art style very well. So I think this one shows that I like watercolor, I like color pencils, and I like my little stars around the outside. And with that, I think I might end this art vlog here. I would love if you could like and subscribe so you don't miss any more in this series, and I'll see you on Thursday for a new video. Bye-bye.